and you learn about the oxygen-dependent myeloperoxidase system, which is big-time boards, big-time, big-time, big-time boards. Okay, remember that oxygen, molecular oxygen, is converted by NADPH oxidase, which is in the cell membrane of neutrophils and monocytes, but not macrophages. They lose that system. And notice there's a very important cofactor, NADPH. Where is most NADPH synthesized? Common last board question. Pentose phosphate shunt. And what's the enzyme responsible for that? That particular part of the reaction, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. That's converting glucose 6-phosphate into 6-phosphoglucanate. You're getting NADPH, and then you're getting a neutralizing factor for free radicals. Name it, glutathione. Okay, make sure you know where we are. That's where the NADPH came from. And it's converting molecular oxygen into a free radical, superoxide. That's an unpaired electron in its outer orbit that gives off energy. That's called a respiratory burst, which can be measured by radiation detectors. But the one they like on exams is nitro blue tetrazoleum, NBT dye test. What they do is get a little test tube, and they add in this dye that's colorless, called N as in Nancy, B as in boy, T as in Tom. I was studying 12 to 14 hours a day for my medical boards with my head spinning with macrophages, myeloperoxidase, monocytes. I just needed to get up and take a walk. So I walked up to the mountains above LA Mission and with audio technology, I was able to study for my medical boards as I walked in these beautiful mountains.